So I'm gonna just uh, do one for today. I missed the other days. So I'm just gonna count today and then we're gonna have our friends miss and our Friendsgiving today. So we're only gonna have it once this year. Cause usually we have uh, Friendsgiving and then the friends miss. So we're gonna have it today. You can join us. But right now I just got home from work and Novia is enjoying the sun. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> Pao? Me. So I got this chicken. I'm gonna make chicken fettuccine Alfredo style. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna make it from scratch. I got the bottles and the chicken. It's gonna be easy already. Okay, as you guys know, I've been trying to eat a healthier diet, but today I may eat uh, this. So I've been trying to do a lot of a lot more plant based. Um, slowly but surely. I've been doing really good actually um, but you know there's a days where you're gonna eat you know like how I usually eat but so today I'm just gonna be cutting up the chicken it's gonna be this is gonna be like real easy chicken Um, yeah. And then I'm gonna just fry this and then it's gonna be real simple. Today is a cheat day. Um, getting away from some of the vegetables because I'm not gonna make. Uh, I gotta see what vegetables I have. I don't think the vegetables that I have today will match with what we're having for our friendship. But if there is, um, if I have zucchini, I'll make that. Zucchini will match great with the on the side as the fettuccine. And then today I will be using my Salad Master. Um, if you guys don't know about Salad Master, it's really, it's a real good item to have in your household because it is, hold on, what's going on here? It is a very good, um, I wanna say stainless steel. And it's better for eating, I mean, cooking because it's clean eating. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So when you use Teflon and stuff, it's, you know, it's not very good, right? So like, 
this, it's, it makes your food much better. So if you guys want to invest in something, invest in cookware because, no, you, you use it every day and you know, you just want to be healthier, you can use better um, pots and pans. Okay, so we're going to put that on 375. And I just must put this in. You know, um, all the pots and pans that you purchase that don't last very long, purchase one of these, the Salad Masters. They last so, they last long. And when I'm done cooking, I just put some water in there and then soak it a little bit. And then it's easy, so easy to come off when I'm cleaning it, as you guys can see. So invest, if that's something you got to invest in, would be the pots and pans. You don't even have to get a new one after that. Trust me, it's really good. Um, they, this one, it comes like with this. I don't know. I forgot what you call it. But this, they have so many other pots and pans. Nice scissors. It's, it's a great item to have. It's expensive, but you're worth it, right? Give me some of this. Olive oil. Ooh, that's not even olive oil. You, just, you don't even need that much. You just put some. But I think that's a little bit more than <laughs> I should have put, but it's okay. Okay, and then we're just going to fry this. Fry. I'm going to chop up the rest of the chicken. I'm going to put a scoop of this. Look about here. Me, yeah, I love, I want to put a little bit more because I love garlic. And then there you go. I'm going to cook another, um, another non, like a, another sauce. It's going to just be with tomatoes and olive oil. It's going to be good. Let that cook. Okay, guys, this is my other salad master. You see it right there? So I'm gonna put my other sauce in there. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the best um, pots and pans. You buy one time instead of buying all these new pots and pans, this will last forever. You gotta take care of it though. The sauce that I'm using now, making now, is gonna have olive oil and tomatoes and some basil and some garlic, of course. But that's the sauce that I'm gonna make. And I'm going to prepare the inside of the rangoons. I think that's what you call them. But it's the imitation crab with the cream cheese wrapped in the wonton. So I'm going to chop it up in here. So we're going to just chop these buggers up. so i got my little basil it's still going it's still going strong so i'm just gonna trim and then put that in my tomato sauce the one that with the tomatoes it's not really a tomato sauce it's just tomatoes with the basil and it's so delicious if i had um maybe i can put some kale in there just just as like a Maybe like a spinach. So let's just see. I might put a little bit of that in there. Why not? Okay, I'm just going to use all of it because I love basil. And it'll help my tree grow a little. But yeah, it's still going. So I'm, I'm happy about that. It's over there. It's all there now. Okay, this, this is the mixture with the... imitation crab so I'm gonna put one more cream cheese in there but I'm not done with that okay sorry guys but I'm going all over the place 
and this is what my tomatoes are looking like right now i'm gonna put the basil it's gonna be so good for my um, sauce with the tomatoes i'm gonna put some pepper and then i'm gonna use some hawaiian salt if you guys don't know what hawaiian salt is it's just salt from hawaii like rock salt pinch one more pinch it's like Himalayan but it's from Hawaii so we call it Hawaiian salt you guys should it's a really good salt this alrighty so that's what is going on right now I'll just use that and put toss some pasta in there and it's delicious guys you guys must try it so this is what I made then we got asparagus and then we got this one here. Ooh, looks good to me. Okay, Navia's ready for our friend's miss with her little outfit. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. Um, the next video will be part of our friend's miss. Alright, aloha.